got Rod the Dutch and Hot Dog Night. Once again, two of the longest names in the bracket. Very long to type. <laughs> Libre Septile. A lot of Septile here tonight, actually. I'd say a lot of Mewtwo's, a lot of Septiles. See a leaf lead that started off. Ooh, bullet seed, Libre flying crest. Stalemate with the counter. Libre counters into the phase change. Homing attack from Sceptile. Double team blocked. Wild charge clash. You can't cap on the trap. Nope. Got a nice defense down. Nope. Grab. Nope. Slide. Token Kiss is getting hit by the lift plane. Wild Charge kicks in the shin. Pika Slam. All right, so we got a burst by Libre, burst by Septile. See Libre very fast on uh, the synergy build. Septile not as much, but I think he could get it next round as well. Mm. See a lot of clashing out of these two. Uh, that's gonna hit. Pikachu! Pikachu! Actually, sorry guys, just fixing a couple things here at the stream. Uh, low kick to end the round. Pikachu! <laughs> Say token kiss just barely in range of that leaf blade. Down slide on the stalemate. Caught by it, leaf blade. Bullet seed. Gets out of it actually. Oh, it doesn't go into the bullet seed loop. Toxic, this way it's changed. Libre running away, but then gets the phase change. <laughs> oh, a little pause. Oh no, someone's pressing the start button. Jo empty hop into the grab. Does not work out. Get a burst off. Then the Libre hangs up, <laughs> sets out, hangs up in the air there for a while. And just flying press and just waiting. And he tosses him. Yeah. And that's going to take the round there for Pika Libre for a hot dog night. <laughs> so we are at 1 1 right now. So you're going to Toga Kiss again just to make the Pika Libre a little bit speedier. See, Leaf Ray for the phase change. And Wild Charge kicking the shin. Pick a slam. Homing attack from the Sceptile gets the phase change. Out of range. And the Leaf Storm. There, it's going to get an attack down on the Sceptile, but a good chunk of damage on the Leaf Ray. Trying to get that side wide in the flash kick. Say Rod, that's just. Stalemate there on the field. Libre. Oh, actually, he had a range there. And burst from Sceptile is just going to catch? No. Leaf Lane there. A very close match here to take round one. Down the slide. One by one more hit on Sceptile. Does not work out with the grab. Gets it. Gets it with the counter. Rod the Dutch up. 
in a very action-packed game one. See some great things out of both players. Say, with it being an amateur bracket, a couple more people have a little bit, uh, a little bit more experience than the others. And these two are actually very experienced in other fighting games as well. Say a lot of them are Smash players, so uh, a lot of that does carry over into a Pokémon. So. They are no strangers of fighting. Flash kick to start it off. See, Libre actually holding back a little bit more, being a little bit more patient than he has been in the last game. See, Sceptile, they try to get a little bit of space there. So Libre gets it with the counter and the flying press. Just a little bit out of range there from Sceptile from that 8A. Homing attack, charges it, breaks the shield, gets a little bit of synergy away from Pika Libre, but then Pika Libre returns right away with a wild charge and a Pika Slam with that buff, gets another buff, with <laughs> walk up and grab. So yeah, Togek has to start off the round here, and then a homing attack, Sceptile gets him right out of that. A uh, little out of range here with the Giga Drain, but it is going to go for a wild charge and phase change in Libre's favor. So we saw Libre actually going a little bit, uh, a little bit more patient there at the beginning of the rounds, but he's right back in, uh, getting right back into those combos with flying presses, then uh, walk up grab with that as well. So he gets him right before he's about to release that. Yolo Wild Charge, absolutely. <laughs> and we got it again here, the Yolo Wild Charge with the buffs. A lot of damage there on the Sceptile. See, so Sceptile, is he going to burst there just as close to distance? Actually goes for the homing attack, gets the burst. Is he going to catch him? Catches him. And the Frenzy Plant. It's not what it's called, but it should be called Frenzy Plant. <laughs> So he's, Libre still has a chance here to, uh, and then actually goes into his own burst, gets the life lead, gets him out of the red, goes and armors through the Frotagers. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and Leaf Storm to take it around, the most hype way to end around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, being in this amateur bracket, there is a lot of things that you wouldn't see in like a higher ranking tournament. Uh, so some of the gameplay is actually a little exciting because you're seeing moves you don't see, you're seeing combos you don't normally see. Uh, you're seeing just, you're seeing three wild charges in a row and it working. It's uh, So it's definitely a little bit uh, interesting uh, to, to see that because really anybody can take it at any moment. So they set up the traps there from Sceptile. And say Sceptile, I think he really just needs to play that mid game a little bit more. And say Rod's kind of going in uh, with Sceptile, which Sceptile can do some close up things, but he really shines in the mid range and kind of keeping Pika Libre at bay a little bit more, I think would help him quite a bit. Uh, Kestrus him with the like Dragon Rush, which is not the normal move. It uh, doesn't have the normal follow up when it's not in burst. It's caught by surprise for sure. Got him with the counter for the round and the win. A insane, some insanely close matches there. It's a great job, Hot Dog Knight and Rod the Dutch. They definitely not, uh, not running away with it by any means.